Some of you might know that I work as a substitute in two of the local school districts, and a week or so ago, I got to do one of my favorite jobs, which is being librarian. Now, the teacher that I'm subbing for didn't have a lot of classes in the morning, so she asked that I go ahead and shelve books that needed to be shelved and, you know, just sort and organize these shelves. And I thought, you know, if I'm going to be doing this, I might as well make a time lapse for y'all so that you can see just the difference that it makes when you really go through and you sort the books. The top two shelves weren't too bad. The four colors were pretty segregated on their own. The bottom shelf, however, from the pinks to the oranges to the non-labeled to the light blues, they were all kind of scattered helter-skelter everywhere. So it was really satisfying to be able to go through and have them each on their own. The organization of elementary school libraries is fascinating to me because you not only have to accommodate for the different reading levels, but also different reading interests. So usually you end up having a picture book section as well as like a mid-grade chapter book section. And then within those, you have the nonfiction for picture book, nonfiction for older kids. Some schools will intermingle all of the nonfiction together into one location, but a system that is pretty common, at least throughout the Western United States, is to have AR book levels. AR is an accelerated reading program, and they have little quizzes that you can take after reading each book to earn points, and then when the school or the classroom gets to a certain number of points, there's a reward or party. So you can see that each of these books has like a yellow, green, blue, orange, pink, all of those colors on them. This particular library, how they have them organized is the earlier levels, the yellow and the green across the top, so that kindergarten, they just know to look across that top shelf for the yellow and the green, and then across the bottom two shelves, it gets progressively more difficult in terms of reading level. My number one tip when organizing bookshelves is to front align the books. A lot of times when we shelve, we push the book all the way to the back, but then because books have different depths to them, a lot of them end up hidden behind. So when you front align books, that means that you can see all of the spines, all of the titles together. And for a lot of readers, this doesn't really matter, especially with mid-grade, young adult, or adult readers, because we have the brain capacity, the processing capacity, to be able to go through and say, that book is further behind, but I'm still reading the title. With younger kids, as they browse bookshelves, their eyes really do just skip over the books that are further behind. So you can tell the difference in these before and afters as I've front aligned these shelves. You can really see all of the books and the level of orderliness and neatness is just superb. So happy shelving y'all and make sure to front align those books. <laughs>